All right, so me and the homie pulled up to Columbus to this Drake concert. Bro, he had J. Cole with him. He had Lil Dirk with him. Bro, all I got to say is this concert was crazy. Like, it might have been one of the best concerts I went to. My boy, that blue hoodie, $220. Nah, they got it. They got it. That's a no-go for me. They had the DJ out there before the show, and he had, you know, for all the dogs, mascot out there doing his thing. And first up was Lil Dirk. He came out. He did a little 15-minute set, had the crowd jumping, he did a little back in blood, did a lot of features. He also had a local choir with him to do All My Life. J. Cole didn't come out and perform it with him. Dope intro for Drake, though. He had, like, an ESPN comedy sketch to open his show which was pretty dope. Then he had, again, local band playing the instrumental to one of his songs. That was a pretty dope touch, how he had them kids, you know, do them instrument. Da, 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 da. Beat the records on a demo! Or however you say it, but yeah. That was pretty dope. Had the little kids out there. This, I thought it was J. Cole at first. That was coming out. Now, I was confused as hell, but it was Drake. Then Drake was in a little school gym, locker room, little old Drake, the grassy Drake. He was, uh, you know, thinking about life, just thinking, like, what's up? Then he picked up a mic out of the locker, and he handed it to the big Drake. That was fire. And then you already know what he started to do. He started doing that Take Care and Thank Me Later album to start off the set. And then we like, where the hell is he? Where Drake at? Where he at? Then out of nowhere, he pushed the wall down. Boom! This boy right in front of me, boy. Right in front of us, right there. I said, oh, this nigga right in front of us. Bro, he came out that box performing Marvin's Room. I'm just saying you can do better. Bro, that was the song I wanted to hear. You know, them light scans. Then he walked to the middle of the damn uh, arena, which is where the stage is. And then that's where he spent most of his time at. But he started moving throughout the night to other parts of the arena. And like throughout the night, his theme was like graphics, like ESPN type graphics, like you can see. And he had the backup dancers doing their thing all night. Like it was pretty dope. Like he had a lot. Bro, he had all these random objects floating around the arena. This spaceship and it was all moving. Pretty dope. It was crazy. Had the fireworks. Bow, bow, bow. They was loud as hell. And then he was performing a Travis Scott song. So he had that floating Travis Scott head, bro. Fireworks was shooting out of the eyes of Travis Scott. That was pretty dope. Then he brought back out Lil Durk to, you know, hit him with that. Sometimes you laugh, sometimes you cry, I guess you know now. They, this dude had a random bra floating around. Don't even know what song it went to. This dude had a sperm floating around in the air. And it was all over the stage, too. Just little old sperms and a big sperm. Then you had the dancers, all dancers taking turns, you know, twerking on him and all that. It was a live show. We was in there. Then he took a, you know, intermission, took a break. Then now Jermaine Cole popped out. Bro, that man was performing hit after hit after hit. So he spent like 20 minutes, 25 minutes on stage doing his thing and just going crazy. And before he hopped off stage, Drake um, had him perform two songs with him. Can I hit it in the morning and this live? <laughs> That might have been the craziest song of the night live. It was wild. And they had Spider-Man in that pew, pew, just flinging webs. That was, pff, that song live is crazy. They had like an 80-foot Drake holding a damn paper plane. And at the end of the night, he let it go. And it just landed on stage. That was pretty cool. I was like, damn. Then the last song of the night, which is one of my least favorite songs, is that new Slime You Out song. And they pick a random dude from the crowd who just get slimed on them. But overall, this show was 10 out of 10.